Okay, we got a quick cut and dry one today. One of the more frequent questions I get asked as a new person just starting out is which radio they should get. The UV5R was the most widely distributed radio out there, selling more UV5Rs than any of the other radios out there combined. And the reason for that was the performance and price point. They performed decently enough and they were dirt cheap. They had been discontinued a while back and replaced with the 5RTP for tri-power which increased up to uh, advertised 8 watts. If you start out with the UV5RTP you're not really going to go wrong. They're a decent little radio and they still perform quite well. If you're looking to replace your UV5R with something that's got a little bit more oomph or perhaps you're just starting out, let's take a look at a few options that we have. I recently did a video on the Baofeng 5RM. I really like those. They got a little bit more heft to them than the UV5R series. A little bit bigger battery, a little bit more power. The buttons are a little bigger, the screen's a little bigger. I'm not going to beat a dead horse to death on that but if you're looking for a uv5r replacement or a beginner radio that is definitely a good contender you got three different bands three different power levels your antennas that you had previously for the uv5r will work with it the price point still right around the same they're about 35 40 bucks a piece our next contender is going to be the Koshang UVK5. Very similar in form factor. My wife likes it because it fits her hand a little bit better. The screen is a little bit better as far as contrast wise against the 5RM. It's slightly smaller, but this radio has some distinct advantages over a 5RM. One of those advantages is the general plethora of firmware updates you can get to make this radio do uh, quite a bit more than what it was intended for and designed for and give you a little bit more functionality. When we do the uh, Koshang UVK5 deep dive we're going to go over a lot of that. And another benefit to the UVK5 is it too will use the same antennas that the uh, UV5R and the 5RM use as well. The power output on the UVK5 is about half that of the 5RM so that's something else that needs to be considered as well. If you told me to to pick between the 5RM or the UVK5. Ah, damn, that would be tough. If I could only carry one antenna with me, I would go with the 5RM using our magic wand antenna. That's a new HT antenna we're developing. Simply because the more power, I don't know, it's tough. It's really tough. And it's tough because I think the UVK5 has just a little bit cleaner audio, especially on reception, where weaker signals would definitely benefit from having that cleaner reception. So I guess it's a little bit unfair because if I could carry multiple antennas and I could do better than the stock firmware and do a firmware modification on that UVK5 to where you can listen to like some of the 10 meter band stuff and even lower, uh, the UVK5 gives you a little bit abilities to act as a scanner in the HF world and still be able to transmit in VHF and UHF on the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band. That capability just isn't available in the 5RM. But all things being equal, if it's stock firmware and you can only carry one antenna, I think the 5RM would still be my choice. So if Regis is asking me for my final answer, if finances were allowing, if you were just starting out, I would purchase both radios. Both have their pluses and their minuses. Both complement each other. For the price point, they're right around, like I said, $35, $40 bucks a piece, somewhere like that. Get one, pick up the other one. Now, if you've been familiar with analog radios and you want to dip your toes into the DMR world, Baofeng makes the DM1701 DMR radio. It's a very affordable DMR radio. Definitely would recommend that. We're going to have a deep dive on that one coming out, too. For someone who's an absolute beginner that isn't familiar with analog radios, should you start directly out with DMR? Absolutely not. I would get, take and get familiar with analog radio first because when you first get that 1701, when that's delivered, you have a brick. Until you program it, it's not going to do you a damn bit of good. And uh, all the radios we're talking about here, these are budget radios for the masses. You know, we're skipping over Kenwood, Icom, Yezu, Motorola, which are all fantastic radios in their own right. But you're looking at four to five to maybe even eight times the cost, depending on which uh, setup you go with. So my recommendation, if it's worth anything, a homeless guy living in a van down by the river playing radio, I would start out with the 5RM. 
and then I would add the uh, UVK5 into my radio tool belt. And, and for the price point what you're paying for them, you can't go wrong with either one. The most important part of any radio system is the operator. Whichever radio you decide to get, become proficient with it. Learn how to use it, learn how to use it properly, and practice, practice, practice. So grab yourself one of those 5RMs, get one of those UVK5s, and just go out there and have fun.